Hey everyone, we are at the Providence Presbyterian Church outside of Charlotte. Um, one of my previous videos, we visited right here, uh, Mabel Lillian Ray. And this church contains many, many old gravestones. So let's take a quick walk through and see what we have. Um, I believe this church and cemetery was founded sometime in the mid to late uh, 1700s. Oh, this is sad. So let's let's take a quick walk. I believe you know where I'm standing now is the newer the newer area. Back here are some really old graves. Let's see if we find anything interesting. These older stones they're always so amazing, but they're very very hard to read. Obviously this one has fallen over many years ago and they just left it imprinted in the ground. I uh, can't really make out a lot of this. Um, as always, if I show anything, I will try my best to put the text up on the screen. A lot of this stuff, again, I can't read. Willie Ray Robinson. And again, you'll see, I mean, this whole area um, has many, many grave markers uh, with the Ray family name on it. Yeah, some of these graves look very small. As you can see, there's a headstone and a footstone very, very close. So my assumption is that um, most of these are children's graves and unfortunately there's quite a few of them. Yeah, Robert Edgar, aged one year and 22 days. And again, I'll, I'll post everything later. A lot of this I cannot read. in memory of an infant who died 8th June 1849, age six weeks. One year, 18 days. So much infant death back then. One year, six months, 17 days. Mary Jean Ray. Oh, I just fell in a hole. A little dangerous. This one has a plaque on it. Let's see what this is all about. Revolutionary War soldier, David Ray. Wow. Private under Captains McCree, Springs, and Polk, and Major Graham and Colonel Thomas Polk, Continental Line. I'm gonna have to do a little research about, about the Continental Line. That's amazing. And like I said, you know, the Ray family goes back so many hundreds of years from, you know, mid 1700s to current day. U.S. veteran, 
1825, obviously, uh, Revolutionary War. Wow, some of these ones over here are quite large. Wow. This, I believe, is a footstone. It looks like there was writing on it, but I don't... If there was, I can't make it out at all. But this is probably the headstone for that. It's using the old English uh, style of writing. Infant daughter of E.W. and Lydia Riggins, November 17th, 1912. Here's another infant, infant son of E.W. and Lydia Riggins, March 11th, 1914. They suffered two, two losses. Very sad. And here is E.W. and Lydia Greer. Offset on an angle here. Wonder why. And I see a uh, Civil War veteran. This way. James M. Hargett, aged three years. And I can't make that out right now, sorry. Janet Hargett. This side is blank. Wow, that's a big, big monument. Wow. All right, folks. I think um, I think I'm going to work my way out. If there was anything that you saw that you are interested in, I'll, I'll try and get some more info. I'll try to come back if there's something I missed or something I've seen while editing. But that's basically it for today. Thanks to everyone. Thanks for watching.